<laughs> nourishing about that last glass of wine. Uh, right, firstly, I'd like to thank my new brother-in-law, Michael, for his lovely speech and his very kind words. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> now, before I get started, it's worth mentioning there's going to be several toasts over the next few minutes. So please ensure your glasses are well charged. <laughs> and um, going on what I've seen so far, table six, you might want to sit, not go. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> That's you, Roger. Yeah? Uh, it's a table nine. It's not so <laughs> we, uh, we now come to the first of those toasts. <laughs> we now come to the first of those toasts, as with all occasions such as this. There are loved ones you wish could be here today, but sadly they are not. So, the first toast is to all those people. So, please can I ask you to stand. Well, yeah. you want to still, still stand here, stand, go on in. <laughs> and, uh, right, just to propose a toast to all those that have gone but not forgotten. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, sit down now. <laughs> Right, there's, um, there's someone here today I need to refer to in a different way, yeah? So there's no time like the present, so here goes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my wife, <laughs> and I, uh, welcome to our wedding. It's fantastic that we can share today with our closest family, our best friends, acquaintances, Friends of friends. Oh, and it's also great that Jeff Pope can make it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we are sincerely thankful you can all share our special day with us. It wouldn't be the same without you. Be a hell of a lot cheaper, but it wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, now I'd like to say a few words about our parents. Firstly, I'd like to thank Kate's dad, Daniel, for <laughs> allow me to marry his daughter and along with Kate's mum Jocelyn for doing such a brilliant job bringing up someone as lovely as Kate. Um, Daniel always says it's nothing to do with me, it was all Jocelyn's doing but we all know it was a joint effort and I know that Jocelyn will be looking down today and she'll be very proud of what she sees. And Kate always tells me she couldn't wish for better parents and she loves you to pieces. You've done a brilliant job so thank you very much Daniel. I'd also like to thank James and Sophie for allowing this lunatic to come into her life. <laughs> and um, I guarantee I won't let them down. <laughs> I dance because Sophie will cut you in half in one sentence <laughs> and James is the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> to, to be honest with you, it's like living with a craze. Some morning I'm scared to get out of bed. <laughs> Joking aside, you made it so easy for me to fit in, so I do thank you so much for that. Aww. Okay, now on to Ken and Wendy, my <laughs> mum and dad. Uh, I couldn't let today pass without thanking them for all their love and support and for all the life lessons. Yeah. Um, I mean, you won't say that in a minute, hold up. <laughs> uh, mum, for instance, taught me many years ago to always take your shoes off when entering the house. And she did this in a very kind and caring way. Now please remember when I tell this story, this was back in the day when you could whack your kids and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a winter's day, I've been playing football up the park and I've come home with my trainer's cakes in mud. Without care in the world, I've traipsed mud into the hall and all round the living room. I have to say, Mum's face was a picture as she hunted me down with, with my dad's belt. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and, uh, <laughs> when she caught me, she whacked me so hard I couldn't sit down for a month. Oh. But uh, it, it was a lesson well learned, so I didn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Mum's little face. She's absolutely horrified. Yeah? <laughs> of, co of course. 
<laughs> of course, of course, I didn't joke, I was joking. It, uh, it wasn't my dad's belt, it was a huge cane she's keeping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then it's my dad. I mean, where do I start? Yeah. Only a couple of weeks ago, he passed on yet another pearl of wisdom to me. Now, most of you here will know that Mum and Dad have been married for over fifty years. So, if there's one person who knows the secret of a long and happy marriage, it's got to be Dad. So some of you gentlemen might want to make a note of this. Yeah? As I say, he passed on this secret to me a couple of weeks ago. Now, I was expecting a manual to rival war and peace. But he said to me, son, all you need is six words. Now, like you lot, I was all ears. And he said to me, those six words are, yes, dear, anything you say, dear. <laughs> I, uh, I can only tell those fibs about mum and dad because um, they've been great sports and we've had loads of fun and laughter over the years. <coughs> <laughs> and uh, I honestly couldn't wish for a better mum and dad and I thank and love them. everything they've done for me over the years. Um, can I just stand, please? <laughs> now we're going to propose a toast to family. 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 Well, back on track now. <laughs> Right we, now, uh, okay. right, we now come to our bridesmaids, uh, Sophie, Ellie, Tilly and Evie. We are so proud of our daughters and they all look so beautiful today. Uh, I want to thank them for keeping Kate nice and calm. But most of all, for making sure Kate didn't change her mind. <laughs> As I said, the girls are absolutely beautiful today, and we do have a little something for them. So, girls, if you'd like to come up. Girls, come on, you can, you can. So it's toast time again, so again, if you can stand, we've got a proposal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to the bridesmaids. <laughs> okay, before I come to the before I come to the star of today. I would like to I would like to thank I would like to thank Nita for doing all the flowers and making this place a chameleon dollars. Thank you so much, Nita. I'd, I'd like to thank Brian and Jen for doing all the photography and the filming. Good news is they specialise in airbrushing. <laughs> and looking at some of the gentlemen we have here today, particularly those on table six, <laughs> they're going to be very busy indeed. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank James for um, walking Kate down the aisle today and in particular keeping her tight grip and I'm making sure she couldn't escape. Thank you, James. Thank you. 
Right. We now come to the star of today. I was born on June the 8th, 1965. Now we now come to the true star of today. Uh, Kate, you look simply stunning. I've never seen you looking <laughs> as, uh, as beautiful as you do right now. Beautiful as you do right now. And I'm sure everyone here will agree, Kate does look truly incredible. And I'm so proud to be able to say that Kate is my wife. I remember the first time I set eyes on my wife, it was at a New Year's Eve dance in 2009. Now, I'd like you to use a lot of imagination here. I'm my best suit on, I comb my hair, I polish my shoes, I use some of my mum's youth dew face cream, and um, I polish the whole outfit off with a splash of brew. So, uh, so as you can imagine, I was feeling pretty damn good. Even so, feeling that good, it was still going to be daunting approaching this beautiful lady across the dance floor. And the problem is, like most blokes, I've got two left feet. <laughs> However, I wasn't going to let this opportunity pass, and all of a sudden I felt John Travolta's blood <laughs> pulsing through my veins. For a split second, I was the greatest dancer in Europe. <laughs> I've, I've glided onto the dance floor, misjudging the first step onto the dance floor and nearly falling flat on my face. But, um, <laughs> but uh, with my ninja-like reactions, I was soon back on my feet and found myself next to Kate doing my best John Travolta moves. Now picture the scene. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, yeah, admittedly, it wasn't good. But uh, at this moment, I've looked at Kate, and to my amazement, she was smiling. <laughs> just, just want to confirm. Laughing. Just want to confirm. Yeah, laughing. <laughs> Not too close there. Just want to confirm, Kate was smiling, there was definitely no laughter or pity going on. I do actually have a witness here. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, dear. Yes, that didn't happen in rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for two minutes in case you're really nicking my best lines. I mean, what, what, what is it all coming to here? Anyway, we danced the night away and the smiling and laughter hasn't stopped since. And it's led us to where we are today, where I honestly feel like the luckiest guy on earth. To have met someone so beautiful, kind and thoughtful, someone who has uh, someone who has a fantastic personality and a brilliant sense of humour. To be fair, Kate's going to need that to put up with me. <laughs> and now I can't wait for us to spend the rest of our life together. And I'm so proud to be able to say, <laughs> Kate, you're my wife and I love you. Again, can I, can I sort of stand again because we're going to make a toast? Uh, propose a toast to my beautiful wife, Kate. Kate.
Right, now, um, before I hand over to my best man, Steve, oh. we do have a little something for him. Steve, so if you'd like to pass that down to Steve. Um, <laughs> don't, don't look at it yet. Please, uh, please, please don't get excited. Don't open it, Steve. Please, the reason will become apparent in a minute. Um, please don't get too excited. It's amazing what you can pick up in these charity shops nowadays. <laughs> also, I'd like everyone to know that Steve has lived in Norway for many years now, and he works for a company there called Hans Christian Andersen. They, they, they specialise in fairy tales and making up stories. So, so, uh, so if you hear anything derogatory about me in the next five minutes, please. Please bear this in mind and I'll be available at the bar for the true version of events later. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of today. I know Kate wants to see you all up dancing later on so don't let her down. I'm now going to hand over to my best man Steve. I'd like to say thank you all so much for sharing our special day with us. Cheers. Cheers.